Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this July 13th. Uh, Before I give you the forecast, I will make this uh, little note here uh, that you will not be receiving the podcast in the coming days. I am uh, taking off for a staycation, but um, actually my wife is having some surgery tomorrow and uh it's it's that old rotator cuff surgery you've if you've experienced that then you know what she's about to go through and then you know why i'm taking off because i'm going <laughs> to i'm going to be her hands and feet and arms and legs and everything else because she's going to be uh pretty well uh stationary for a couple of weeks so uh, this will be the last podcast you'll hear from me for, well, a week and a half, maybe two weeks. I do plan to be back around the 27th of this month. So, yeah, it's a, it's a, a long stretch, but I actually do have the time coming as uh, I, just, I just don't get, you know, it's just hard for me to take off. Uh, I, I love what I do, and, and but then, you know, when it comes time to take a vacation, I'd rather just get out of town and go someplace really great. So this is this is really not a vacation. It's more of a staycation and uh, to help my wife uh, through her surgery and to help her recover after that. So I'll just be at home kind of watching things and just relaxing. Uh, over the coming days but I wanted you to know that up front in case uh, you don't listen all the way to the end of the podcast so there you go and and if you wake up tomorrow not hearing a podcast or not seeing it posted then you know why so that being said let's get to the forecast 90 was our high temperature yesterday in Bowling Green that happened a little bit after five o'clock at the Bowling Green airport 89 is the average high temperature so we were one degree above that 74 was our low temperature 68 the average so we were six degrees above average on the low temperature side and then one year ago we had a high of 93 and a low of 77 back in 2015 and with the rain yesterday almost a half inch 49 hundredths of an inch of rain at the Bowling Green Airport, some locations like McLean County up in Calhoun picked up over five inches of rain yesterday. So, uh, today is going to be different in that we're not going to see that much in the way of rain. In fact, it's just going to be a plain old hot and humid day with only a 10 to 20 percent chance of an isolated shower during the afternoon most of you will not get rained on today so if you've been looking for that just plain old sunny hot humid day uh, without the kind of rain that we've received in the last week and yesterday today's your day 93 will be the high temperature but keep in mind if you're outdoors stay hydrated and stay cool because the heat index will be approaching 100 degrees during the course of the afternoon and in some cases it could be a little bit hotter than that and that can be dangerous there will be a bit of a breeze though out of the southwest at say 10 to 15 miles per hour tonight will just be partly cloudy warm and muggy with a low of 75 and then for thursday as the next disturbance rolls in we will get a good 50 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms and it will pretty much look like it did yesterday when we had uh, bouts of heavy rain and some thunderstorm activity we'll see a high of 92 then as a cold front makes its way into the area friday we continue with a 50 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms and a high of 88 the front will then move north uh, after saturday's high of 87 we get a 30 percent chance of showers there Sunday, that warm front moves north, a continued 30% chance of showers and around 90. And then the front, that front stalls out again. And this time it's going to stall out right over Kentucky. And that is going to keep in 
the daily chance of showers and thunderstorms all the way through the middle of next week. Uh, We're going to keep the rain chance for now at about 30% each day. 90 Sunday, 91 Monday, and 90 on Tuesday. So again, each of the seven days in the forecast has a chance of rain. Reminder that the rainfall could be heavy at times and uh, maybe even some severe storms. But it's the heavy rain that's probably the bigger threat uh, around here than anything else because of the flooding that we've already had. And you add to that uh, more heavy rain and, well, that's just going to make matters worse. Now, we do have the Corvette Homecoming and Chevy Invitational that starts tomorrow, Thursday, and it runs through Saturday. Uh, there will be times when, uh, you know, showers will be rolling through, hopefully not as heavy as like we got yesterday, but it is a possibility, especially uh, tomorrow and Friday. So uh, if you have a Corvette or you're going out to the Corvette Homecoming, uh, I think you're fine. You just need to be aware of any kind of storms that try to roll through. All right. Again, uh, this will be the last podcast for a while. So uh, thank you for listening as always, and God bless. Know the weather before it knows you. I'll see you live at 530 on AM Kentucky, 11 AM on midday, and then streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. And then later today, uh, no radio show for me today as I've got an all-day meeting and all that and then preps for uh, my wife's surgery tomorrow. So, yeah, the radio show is on hold as well for those of you that listen every afternoon 3 to 7. All right, so I'll see you back uh, in a couple of weeks. In the meantime, thanks for listening.